Welcome back everyone and thank you for joining us this week in the competition series. We are in season two and we are on week five of the eight week season before the tournament again. So really looking forward to getting to that. But we've got a few weeks to go yet and this week we are in Verhanga Savannah and we are going for the lesser kudu with the 270 rifle we cannot get in the top three because we've already done that twice you get limited two awards per award type each season and we have already done that twice we'll still be looking for those diamonds to get them in and get the trophies anyway obviously that's what we're going to be out here for but the couple awards we can still get the first one being the sniper award which is the farthest single shot taken with the 270 on the lesser kudu a male obviously and have to have all those harvest chest packs. Again, one single shot for that. We can do that one more time this season. The second award we can do is the Jackalope Award, which is for the lowest scoring male lesser kudu overall. So that's the thing you gotta look for. You gotta look for those little ones and try to get the smallest one. We've got that once, so we can do that one more time this season as well. We will also be looking for any species and any trophies, depending on what times we're able to run into on our map or multiplayer maps. We'll see how that goes, and we will hunt whatever we can come across. Looking for trophies to put in the lodge. I hope you all enjoy the video. Let's get to it. Well, I just saw something I have never seen so far in all my time of playing. I have seen it for a male, but I have never seen it for a female the first albino female lion I've ever seen that is so awesome it's like we got some wildebeest thundering behind us let's see if we can get a good range on her oh that's exciting it'll give us something to at least hold on to and try to get a nice rare uh, multi mount of the lions which would be so awesome There she is, perfect. Whew, it's a little, that, that mid range there, but it is a female, so we don't mess her up by going up and down. That should be in there, yes, perfect. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's so exciting, yes. Albino female lion. Oh, is she sliding into the water? Right, she stopped. Yes. That is exciting and awesome. Ah, oh, makes me so happy. Let's get over there and pick her up. Well, there she is. Our first albino female lion, finally. <laughs> I've never noticed their little beards before. That's cool. Here we go. Oh man. Awesome. We <laughs> get a cool screenshot. Wow. Level 3 female. She went down no problem at that range. Oh, that looks really good. You know, you focus on the males and their manes, but that's gorgeous. That's going to look beautiful in a multi mount somehow gotta have to save up and do that that's gonna be really cool you see the textures even better now with this screen it looks good that <laughs> that makes up for the whole competition weekend i'm good now i don't don't need to go any farther i'm happy but obviously we'll keep hunting it but uh what a way to start our uh competition weekend it's not anything to do with the competition but that's it's something about it you know you do competitions it, it's just another day another amount of time to get back on the game and get out there and you're not gonna find it unless you get out there we'll give this guy a try I can't go back any further because of that hill so we'll try this I hit, but, oh, he's dropping some. I had to do that standing, so wasn't quite as steady. We'll see how far out we got. 
All right, he's down. That was a long way over. Let's see how far we got. 442.6. Not too bad. We'll put him in the save block just in case he is the farthest one. I'll have to save him. But we'll give it a we'll give this a shot and turn that in. Nice little white tips on his horns there. Alright. 442.6 yards with the 270. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. But I'm sure that's highly beatable. That was just giving it a whirl, our first chance out here on the coast. We'll see how it works out. Well, we hustling down the, or yeah, down the coast, and there we go. Got a five, a 149 to 162. They are 151, so he should have, oh, this is perfect. Let's try it from here. Oh, tell me that was a heart shot. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't expect that. Quarter and away. I'll take it. Might have snuck that right in there behind the right behind the shoulder. Here we go. He should have made it. Boy, that looks really good. Yes, 153.64. Again, they're 151, yeah, 151.64, so two, two over. And he's 220 pounds, and their max weight is 231, so he's got a ways to go for that. But, he is a diamond lesser kudu nonetheless. Awesome. We got our new true racks on there. We're not new anymore, I guess, but new for the fact that I haven't shot one since they first got redone I don't think but nice we'll have to keep looking for a small one and uh, we're happy to have this trophy no no matter what it's going into our lodge whether we can use it or not happy to have him it's too bad about the greater kudu maybe there'll be something one day maybe there'll be a thing but for now the lesser kudu tonight today works just fine we got this fella right here, right between those rocks. Let's... Oh, he had to move. Darn it. Try to find a good spot. Great. We'll try to get up the hill here. Maybe that I can get a good angle so we can see him out there on that coast. That worked out perfectly. Good yardage too. Try to get that 300 behind the shoulder. Oh, get in there. Yes. Perfect. Oh, he's coming to us too. Save us a little bit. That should be good. Give us a little bonus Cape Buffalo here. And a nice brown. He should have he should make it. A pretty high estimate. I don't remember what the bottom was. Oh, he got buried under. Let's see. Yes, sir. Diamond 159.92. And they are 151. Let's see there, 151.35. So he's up there a little bit. Weight is 2065 and their max weight is 2094 so he's a little ways off of max but <laughs> good stuff let's get him taxi nice oh not a little but a pretty big bonus here <laughs> pretty big bonus diamond that's nice let's 
Vanna, if you run that coast, you almost always run into one of these guys. That brown looks really good in that screen though. That really makes it pop out of there. I like it. I think so sometimes in the screens they look better than they do in the lodge. Got a little bit more richness to that color for sure. Looks good. A nice diamond cape buffalo from Verhonga. Well, I just I just found a level one. The first one I've seen all weekend. So we'll give him a try. 84 to 97. I believe the current one is 96.9. So this guy should be pretty good. But we are still leading the sniper currently. So if for some reason we were able to take that and this... We are done for the season other than just playing it for the fun of it, so. Which is fine too, then I don't have to stress out about looking for them. <laughs> so, I guess we should take it while we got it. We'll, we'll see if this guy does. Get a little closer. Ah, we'll try him from here. He's oh, gonna move around a little bit. If how little he is. <laughs> well, similar to one of our Silver Ridge from earlier this week. We shoot him, they float around, and we run all the way over there for nothing. <laughs> but here he is, our little man. And he's a 97.1. And as I said, the lowest one was 96.9, so. Didn't make it. Had his right side been as small as his left, we might have actually made that. But we had a shot. We tried. Nice heart shot, too. Oh, well. We might find another one. Might find a little bit smaller. But we lost out by .2 on this. Well, I just spooked out that girl there. Just ran her right out of here. Oh. I'm gonna have to hunt her down because she's way too nervous. I'm not gonna turn around, I don't believe. Hmm. Have to give that a try. Just seen her up there. Where'd she go? There she is. Nice. Let's get up here. <laughs> Maybe get our second albino female ever. Uh, 257, I think. Maybe this little high, maybe. I couldn't move. That should be good, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, nice. No way we got two of them. Double albino females this weekend. There she is. <laughs> Albino female number two this weekend. That is. That's crazy. Yes. Beautiful. Taxi her. Another level three. I think the first one was a level three, I'm pretty sure. It's awesome. What a weekend. Two. <laughs> We're not here for all that, but. Two albino females. That is crazy. Grinding out the uh, old Savannah worked out pretty good for us this weekend. That is a couple pretty sweet trophies. 
Now, if we can just get a male and and maybe a uh, albino cape someday, I know where they're all going together. <laughs> well, that's gonna do it for week five here in season two of the competition series, where we were going for the lesser kudu with the 270 rifle. We did come away with a beautiful diamond there on the right, so that was a nice trophy to add at our little comp for the win. We were, again, we're not able to be in the top three because we've already done it twice for the season. We're just playing for the fun of it now for the most part. But we also got our sniper award over here on the left. We did go ahead and taxi him because he was our sniper award, which makes it our second for the season, so we cannot do that in the uh, next three weeks either, so we won't have to worry about taking those long shots. This guy was 442.6 yards, and that was the furthest this weekend with the 270 rifle for these Lesser Kudu. The other bonus trophies we got was the Cape Buffalo. We did come away with a nice uh, brown Cape Buffalo. Uh, that was pretty cool, too, being able to get up on that hill the way we did. And all of a sudden, just a few steps up, and it was a whole different world to be looking at to take that shot. So something to keep in mind if you ever need to. Look for those elevation spots, they always help. And then we had these two beautiful ladies here, which are the star of the show for the weekend. These two albino female lions came off of Savannah. The first time I've ever gotten one, that was the first one, and this was the second one. She was a little bit higher scoring than the other. They were both level three, but gorgeous little models here, and our female lions are ready to be matched up one day maybe with some albino uh, male and maybe an albino cape and put them in that big multi-mount. That would be pretty cool. Or whatever we can work out. But for now, they are here and they're in the lodge. I was super excited and happy to see that. I couldn't believe I saw that white one. And then, I mean, it was obvious. It was like a day and a half later of hunting, but we ended up coming across another one. So happy to take it. Yes, it may be nice, but the females, they might be just as, well, I'm sure they're just as difficult because you, it's so easy to look for the males and be able to pull off a female is just as sweet that's for sure all right so there you have it for this week we did close the deal with our diamond kudu along with another diamond and then we had our sniper award and our two rare can't be upset with that that was a very successful weekend what a great hunt as always i really appreciate you all taking the time and joining me in this video thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to stay notified and shoot the like button to help others find the channel. If you didn't, thank you for watching this long. Back to work on the next video. Until then.